Well, Gerard might be in a similar situation wow. today. That's what he says. Let's wow. head to the Brookfield Zoo just outside of Chicago to see what's going on, Gerard. Well, good morning, guys. You caught us at breakfast. Tina's not here, but I have Lucy the llama and also have Cinnamon the llama. And we're eating apples, we're eating oats. It's quite delicious. They do enjoy this. These are the sweetest, cutest, loveliest ladies I've ever had breakfast with, I'm going to say. Look at their eyelashes. I think even Kelsey's jealous of these eyelashes. Wait, you can't have that apple. You have to have this apple. Look at that. These are just the most gorgeous animals. And they'll come right up here. And look, they even do, they even do trick. Kiss. Oh, your sweetheart. You see what I'm saying? This is a place to spend. So we're here at Brookfield Zoo. And again, we have a couple of llamas, and these two are wonderful. We're going to talk over here to the director of the Brookfield Zoo. This is Mike Atkinson walking in. Mike, thank you so much for hanging out with yeah, us today. Yeah, thanks for being and, here today. Um, zoos are obviously places while I chew with food in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful places to spend a beautiful day like this. Yeah, now, yeah. why do you think it is just still such a classic place to come on a day like this? Wonderful place to visit with the family, be outside, enjoy some beautiful time uh, together and get a chance to meet some of our animals. Uh, hopefully you learn something while you're here and uh, get a good conservation message about protecting animals and nature. All right, so we did here. This has been the, the big thing that we hear. These two llamas have been known to spit, but so far they're very well behaved. These are very well behaved, yes. <laughs> That's great. They have so many different exhibits here, and Mike, you've been wonderful to come out here and let us hang out. We're yeah. going to go see some giraffes a little bit later on, but these two are the nicest animals I could spend time with, and yeah. thank you for letting us hang out today. Guys, this is wonderful, and they actually eat their breakfast, unlike Tina. <laughs> Gerard, I dare you to put an apple in your mouth, hold it up to the llama's mouth, and see if the llama will take it from you without biting your lips off. I want to see that later. You already read my mind, and I was going to do it, but they said, probably better not. That was not my choice. I wanted to feed them just like this, right? So I couldn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.